Ooh. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope everyone is uh, not annoyed by my little intro and excited for me to be checking out Cane Hill, Power of the High. Okay, you guys have been dropping this song in the comments ever since it got released. And this is a band that I've been wanting to check out for a while now because I've seen the name pop around, but I I really have no idea what their sound is. And I did a little bit of a Wikipedia search and it says they're a heavy metal band, like industrial metal and maybe like metalcore. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting with this song. So like this has me very fired up. I'm very intrigued what their sound is. I think that's all we need for chit chat. So let's fuck do it. Kids want some weed. A little psychedelic in here. Ooh. What? <laughs> this is so fucking cool, let's go! Come on. We're gonna open our eyes. Not a fish of power of the light. Don't you wanna let out eyes? This is what playing God is like. Say what I can say. Holy shit, man. I have a lot I want to talk about in the review. That bench are mine. That was really aggressive. <laughs> That was wild. All right, all right. That was super, super good. I'm gonna end it right here. Okay, obviously you saw my reaction. That was awesome. Okay, first off, guitarist. Come on, man. That was some sick riffage. That is what I'm talking about. Like, how come metalcore doesn't, or even like deathcore, rely on like cool riffs? Like, just write a cool riff. Like, get a little bit shreddy. 
That riff was awesome, man. It was so good. A big standout moment. But, like, let's talk about, like, the theme of the song. The psychedelic, like, druggy tone to this song was so cool and unique and how they blended it into the music. It's fresh. Like, you know, like, bands just want to, like, follow what other bands are doing and just kind of get comfortable with it. You know, modern metalcore is incorporating a lot of gent and stuff, so they're all playing seven strain and getting genty. It's getting a little bit predictable, but like Cane Hill here, it sounds like they're pulling influence from like 60s, 1970s, like psychedelic rock. Like that classic rock with those solos with the weird like phasers kind of like effects. I don't think it actually was a phaser, but like they play around with the effects and just give it like a druggy trip kind of feel. And you know what? Like I love it because I'm a sucker for like, you know, old school classic rock. Like, I don't know, like Leonard Skinner and like Pink Floyd and stuff because like my dad loved that stuff. So I think it's cool that they're incorporating these sounds into it and like, Okay, so another standout moment was the drumming. Like, I want to talk about the vocals, but first off, like, the drumming was really good. He was doing some aw awesome accents with his cymbal hits in between, like, uh, you know, his snare hits and things like that to just keep things exciting and fresh. Like, the drumming was awesome. You can even hear the bass, which was great. And now the vocals. Vocals were so freaking good man they were so good it's you know it, it doesn't matter like if you have a good voice or not it literally depends on creativity big time and how you phrase your words and there was a lot of creativity with the vocals in terms of just like doing his speaking kind of moments and having like an effect on it where it's like a little bit psychedelic and to go into these harsh screams but it's kind of like layered like there's two screams going in at the same time so the vocals itself were super unique always interesting structure was awesome too the song was very unpredictable uh, but still had a consistent structure that it felt like there was like a journey from start to finish rather than like we don't know what we're doing let's just write a song from point A to point B you know the structure was consistent and unpredictable this song was literally just so freaking good man i am blown away by uh kane hill and the music video was great too like yeah all all members were super good i love the guitarists big fan of like just guitar riffs and like i don't know why that's so much to ask for and like metal metal is all about the riffs and this band was man i i thought i was going to get chugs and a predictable kind of stuff like that and like zeros and ones nope didn't get it here, man. I even got a guitar solo, but like a psychedelic guitar solo, not anything like crazy technical or weird, something that just fit the theme of the song, which is so cool. Anyway, wow, positive review for Kane Hill, Power of the High. I'm curious to know what you guys thought about the song, so comment down below, spice up my life. Um, yeah, did you guys enjoy the song as much as me? Uh, do you have other tracks that are like this? Like, I, you probably will comment other Kane Hill songs, but I want to know other bands that are like, very different you know bands like this that are just very different they're not generic metalcore and they're incorpor incorporating like other kind of like sounds from different genres of music like let me know those bands in the comments down below but on that thing we tune in till next time peace